Hey everybody, Jill here. What I am going to share today is just a little trick that I use to keep track of all of my content on my website to help me know when I've shared things or when I've updated things. Um, I used to use spreadsheets and I think a lot of people still are and I just wanted something that was easier that I didn't have to always open a separate sheet all the time and I, I just I find this so much easier so I'm hoping this will help somebody out there. Um, so what I've done is I created just kind of like a little mini dashboard. This is my posts area. You can see I have um, the title, the category that it's in. This was the date that it was published. These are standard columns. Okay, so these come by default with WordPress. The rest are ones that I have added. So I added an updated column and this will tell me when I updated a post. So typically if I do an update to a post, I will not change the published date unless it's had a major overhaul, usually about 60% or more in edits. I may change the publish date to a new publish date, but if it's just a minor update where, you know, maybe I just optimized it a little better and added like one small new section, I just do updates and leave the publish date as it is. I don't like to change dates unless I'm really making a big change. So this one you can see, I originally published in April of 2021. I just actually updated it a couple days ago and I just noted in here that I updated it. And then social share notes. So for this one specifically, it's not a post that would do well on social, so I don't bother sh sharing it out. It's just an informational post. So social share notes are not really a good post for social. And I do this one to remind myself why I didn't share it. And two, if I hire somebody, they'll know, hey, you don't want to share this one out, just let it go. So then I just put in NA, 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 NA. That way we know it's just not something that's ever been shared and it won't be shared. So if we look at this one, which is a little more social friendly, I've got this category, I published it. It just updated the other day. I think I added like two new um, celebrities that I found, you know, not a major update, just a little update to make it a little fresh. MSN, I shared it on November 30th of 23. And then I shared it on Flipboard um, when I made the edits the other day. So February 5th, 24. So now I have a, just a nice little way of looking to see when I shared things. And, you know, MSN, I know, you know, we like to share every 30 days or so. So this will go out again in whenever I get back on MSN. So that's a whole other story. But we'll, we'll get there and I'll be able to track, you know, every 30 days when something has went out. You can absolutely sort um, anything with a dash. Obviously, I didn't enter anything in yet but we can sort so we can see the latest dates. Okay, so December 6th, December 4th, December 2nd. So we can scroll down, see all the dates. And then same thing for Pinterest. So all of these are sortable, so you can you know find things the way you want. You can add more columns if you want, um, if there's other things that you wanna add. If you want to check um, and you know see what columns you have, you can open the screen options. Um, and then just hide or show whatever you want. So, you know, if you're not doing, like right now, I'm not doing MSN. So I can uncheck this right now and it takes that column away. Okay, so now I only have these. If I want to add another column in, I can just, you know, if I want to see my SEO details here, I can put those in here. Okay, I don't really use this, so I don't really worry about it. But so this is how you can kind of hide and show your columns as you need to. And that's it. So, how do we do this? There are two plugins you will need. I will put the links in the description for the video so you can just go and get to them directly. But one is admin columns for ACF fields. This plugin is what's going to help you put the columns into the posts overview. Without this, you won't get the columns. Okay, and this is by Florian Eichhorst. Okay, so we can thank him for this awesome contribution. And then the second one is advanced custom fields by WordPress engine. It is not, um, you do not need the pro version. I have the pro version, you do not need it. Okay, all you need is the basic one that's free on the WordPress repository. Okay, so those are the two that you'll need. Once you install and activate those, okay, you'll have a little um, sidebar where it says ACF. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna click add new. And then you can do social tracking as the add new field group. And then field type is always just going to be text. You don't have to change this. Uh, field label, say you want to do, t do Twitter, just do a T. Okay. The shorter the names, um, the more columns you'll be able to squeeze in there. So I would recommend you know, trying to just use short names if you can. And you, know, you can use Twitter for the field name if you want. 
Okay. So field name, field label. If you feel more comfortable doing twit, do twit. And then make sure you choose admin column. Okay. And this is the second plugin. This is the one by Florian. This is what his contribution is, and it really makes a big difference. You can specify admin column width if you want. I don't bother with any of that. It'll just control how big or how wide the column is in your dashboard. Okay, so that's all you gotta do. Field label twit um, or T, whatever you wanna go with, Twitter, and then scroll down and you'll have settings. What this section does, it tells WordPress where to show that text field for twit. Okay, so show this field group if post type is equal to post. I think that's there by default, so you definitely want that because you want this field in all of your posts. Okay. What if you want to add this to your pages as well? Then you're going to click or add rule group, post type is equal to pages. So now, hey WordPress, show me this twit field if I am on a post or I'm on a page. That way you can enter data in either. Okay. Now we're going to add another field. Okay, so we've got field number one, and you can close these up if you want, make the interface a little cleaner. We got our twit done. Now we want to do MSN. I'm going to do two because I already have a MSN field. Um, so MSN, admin column, and then once you're done, you add, you know, if you need a third field, a fourth field, fifth field, use it for whatever you want. Okay, uh, maybe you want to do, you can do a text area post notes, put that in your admin column. Okay. So now I have three fields that are going to give me text areas. A text area is just, uh, a text is just a line of text. Text area is a block of text and I'll show you the difference in a second. So now we have these three things. We're going to click save changes. Now if we go to posts, and we do screen option. Oh, see, there it is. Twit, MSN2, post notes. And it should be on my pages as well. Twit, MSN2, post notes. We now have this set up. So if I go back to posts, okay, so I did this post today. How much should I give for a high school graduation? I'm going to click on this. And when I scroll down to the bottom, I'm going to look for my fields. Twit. 1-23-23, maybe I shared it then, MSN2, I'll share it today, 2-8-23, or 24, I forgot we're in 24, and then these are some notes about this post, maybe I want to look in a month and um, re-optimize after I see how it does and then click update. And now I go back to all posts and voila. Shared it to Twitter on the January 23rd, 24th. Shared it to MSN on February 8th and my post notes. There are some notes about this post. Maybe I want to look into blah, blah, blah. This, you know, you if you make it too long, obviously it's going to really drain out this page. Um, I usually don't keep the published date in here. And this is why I said, you know, play around with, you know, how this works best for you. Um, I probably wouldn't show the post notes in here. I would just see them on the post itself. Um, I only want to really see the dates in here so I can keep track of everything. And that's it. So I hope this makes it easy. Um, again, check in the description for the links to the two plugins. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments on the video. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.